In this video, I'm going to show you how I built out this lightweight travel hard case to put my Star Adventurer and all my camera gear for some mobile astrophotography. Let's go! So earlier today, I went to Bunnings, which is like the Australian version of Home Depot, but just with more meat. Um, and I picked up this uh, case, which uh, they sell for $89 dollar dues. Um, and so the external dimensions on it are 515 by 435 by 225 millimeters. Uh, but really the internal dimensions are what we care about. Just open this up, it has these four locks. So on the inside the foam measures 500 millimeters by 350 millimeters by 150 millimeters deep. And then inside it comes with that kind of uh, diced uh, foam on the bottom that you can you know, pick and pluck, and then just something on top. So that's the top layer of the cubed foam. Underneath that, we have two layers of just regular foam that you can cut however you like. And so I actually just used uh, the kind of Illustrator program in uh, Google Drive, totally free. Uh, to mock up a few scenarios and see how everything might fit in different cases And you can see here a couple of the designs they came up with for this case I was also looking at some slightly smaller some slightly larger there were some scenarios where I was looking at two cases So ideally I would would have liked to have used the foam that came with the Star Adventure It's a little bit sturdier than the uh, than the pick and pluck foam which can you know lose its shape over time but unfortunately it just wasn't quite efficient enough and I couldn't it basically the I had to sacrifice something in this case it was the ball head that just wasn't gonna fit um, so in the end I'm just gonna go with the full pick and pluck foam for the whole uh, for the whole box So here it is, all completed. I made a few changes from the uh, initial design and what you saw me cutting. Um, so I'll give you a quick tour of everything that's going on. So first of all, uh, we'll start up in the top corner here. I've got the ACL 200, which has now arrived and in place. Um, so you'll notice that it doesn't have its lens shade on. I couldn't really fit it with the lens shade, um, but it's actually cleverly hidden somewhere in this uh, in this box. We'll get to that uh, in a little bit. See if you can figure out where it is in the meantime. Um, so moving down, I've got my Canon 80D here, uh, and that's going to have the 50 millimeter lens on it. So um, I had, you know, I didn't want to have the the cap on the camera and then a lens somewhere else. That's a big waste of space. So I just picked the smallest lens, uh, the 50 mil, that can just live there when it's. Uh, in the box. Um, moving around I've got the receiver for my wireless interbolometer. Uh, and then I've got some AAA and AA battery spare. So this is for the Star Adventurer, this is for the intervolometer and also my head torch uh, if the batteries die, so always good to have those. And then here I've got the counterweight and the counterweight shaft, uh, which is an improvement over the Star Adventurer box where those were separate. So it just saves a bit of time uh, having to put those things together each night. Close back in there. Um, moving around, I've got my M48 T-ring, which I need for this guy to attach to the camera. I've got the actual intervalometer here, and the cable for my uh, intervalometer receiver is here. Uh, and then, so you can see here, I've got the, uh, the whole Star Adventurer, and importantly, with the wedge on, so it just saves again, it, so again it just saves some time, uh, you know, having to, not having to construct everything each time. Uh, so I do have the latitude base flat, so I've got to set that each night, but that's not a big deal. Uh, and you can see it fits in really nice and snug there. Um, I've got my 
Got my ball head here, um, so that's for my wide field stuff, uh, very key. Um, we've got the declination bracket for the Star Adventurer, I've got a spare battery for my camera. Uh, there's already a battery in there, so just got a spare, always good to have. Um, and then I've got my Samyang 14mm lens right here. So, you may be asking yourself, where is the lens shade that I promised for this? Well, it is right here. So it fits perfectly around that Samyang lens um, and takes up no extra space, which is a, a huge bonus. Uh, and then you pull out the lens, there it is. Uh, you can see there's like a, I've dug an extra deep hole, which I've had to do for a bunch of the things, and uh, it's really nice and snug down there. That's not going anywhere. Uh, and then, yeah, this guy just pops right over there seamlessly, and uh, I really love that. That's my favorite little trick of the whole thing. Uh, and so that's it. So you can see I can uh, close that up, and it's not going anywhere. So kind of the one glaring admission to uh, what's in the box is the ASI Air Plus, uh, which I do want to use particularly with the uh, with the 200 millimeter lens. But I figure if I'm using this, I'm also going to be bringing my battery pack, uh, my guide scope, and so many other things. So there's not really much point putting this in here because I'll still need to bring a bunch of other stuff. Whereas everything that's in here, the only other thing that I need is my tripod. Uh, which, you know, that's easy, it weighs virtually nothing, and it even has its own carry bag. So, um, if I've got my tripod and this bag, I can do a huge variety uh, of astrophotography, and I don't need this uh, to do that, whereas everything else in this box is actually essential. So that's the thinking behind why this does not fit in here, and, and the things that are in here, why they are in here. So that's pretty much it, guys. I think it's a pretty good improvement over the Star Adventurer box. Uh, and then obviously I've got all my other kit in there as well. Like I said, there's a, I've got three different focal lengths there now. So 14 millimeters, 50 millimeters, and 200 millimeters, uh, and all the accessories that I need to go with that. Um, so yeah, I think it's a really, really good portable setup and can't wait to get out there and use it. I'll see you next time.